Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G. That was at Small Arms Danny. This yeah. is at Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself, so. Cole Susak. We have Brian Peters, and he's brought a special guest today. Jo Josh Dobby, the acting CMO slash... I mean, we, he, we he, carries, he carries some weight in the Sornex industry, <laughs> but yeah. Um, been at Sornex for almost a decade now, probably? Yeah, about eight years. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, so he, he's here. He's actually here with uh, the owner and the founder of Sornex, Bert Sorn, and Pops. What's Pops? First name, I don't Richard. Know. Richard, Richard Sorn, I knew yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but Pops got inducted into the Strength Hall of Fame. Yeah, the International Sports Hall of oh, Fame. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Fairfax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. So him, Thor, uh, Ronnie Lott, and a few other individuals. Ronnie Lott's up in this bitch? Dude, yeah, shit. fucking Ronnie Lott was up there, and Fuck, he goes, yeah. life is about showing up and making plays. And I was ready to run through a fucking wall. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with Ronnie yeah, Lott, yeah, bro. Yeah, shit right <laughs> Marcus there. Allen was standing right behind him because they were roommates in college at SC. That's fucking And I was sick. just like, mm, all right, let's go. That's fucking sick. It was nasty. He killed it. Yeah, he did a great job. And so that was last. They had that uh, event last night. A few hours ago. Oh, a few hours ago. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Kind of yeah. Fair day. Fairfax does a great job. I've been to a bunch of those. I went one to one that had uh, Evander Holyfield, Triple H, and someone else. And I was just like, he always brings some like just some it's, studs in, man. Oh, no doubt. And it's like an eclectic group of individuals. It, exactly. Too. Like so, Pop. So Richard Soren. This is the first year they like created a category for him of someone that like not only competed and like was known for certain like feats and yeah. records, but then also translated that to business. And then so for Sorenex and what he's done with Sorenex, so that's they kind of created a new category for him. That's sick. So he's the first one yeah. inducted with that. So now future people like more on the business side of sport will be able to get inducted. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, give us some background on yourself, man. Love to hear. Oh shoot, football guy, man, from All Tampa, right. Florida. Uh, so I grew up, um, my pops worked for old school nostalgic companies like Nautilus, Stairmaster, Strive. Yeah, all right. So I've, I've been around this shit my whole life. Hell um, yeah. Unfortunately, going to like URSA conferences and stuff when I was like 12. Um, <laughs> so I've learned a lot about what sucks in this industry and the things I yeah, think yeah. we can do better. But, uh, but yeah, football guy, man, went to West Point for a couple years, Florida State for a couple years. Um, after Playing that, ball? Like, yeah, oh football. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, like what position? Uh, receiver tight end. Fuck yeah. yeah once, I got a, once I got to Florida State, my speed was not up to the level of yeah. some of these other cats. <laughs> so I was like, mm, I'm a big-ass receiver. I go play tight end for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What so, years were you at West Point? Uh, 04, 06. Okay. Got yeah, it. So I have a friend that played baseball there. That's why I asked. But that's okay. cool. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit older than you, though. Yeah. Uh, that's sweet. So you played football there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. man. The Army-Navy game had to be. That was fun. Unbelievable. Got to play in two of those. Shit. Lost both of them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Being in Philly, like, for that yeah. game, like, no, that's a good time. One of my friends that's in the FBI that works, the, he's like a bomb specialist that works this event, he uh, he played, he was a tight end at Army. He played West Point. Oh, no doubt. Uh, Dave uh, McCracken, and, yeah, he said it's, like, just an unbelievable experience. Oh, yeah. It's next level, man. I mean, it's the pageantry of the whole thing. When exactly. you get the freaking planes and the, and the choppers flying overhead yeah. and everyone's Fuck, going yeah. nuts and – and when you're at Army, you know, in, in Navy, like, you're not typically playing in front of huge crowds. For like, sure. you're 40,000 most of the time-ish mm -hmm. if you sell out, you know, versus, like, a you know, Florida State or bigger, you know, you're going yeah. 80, 90, depending on who you're playing against. It was a big transition. My first game at State was at Clemson in mm -hmm. Death Valley, and oh, I was wow. like, oh, this is a little bit fucking Oh, uh, it's a little <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, we fuck That's with sick. Coach Storms. He's, like, one yeah. of our guys, man. Bro. Coach Storms, uh, actually, I'm super humbled by this because he's such a smart guy. He's tried my diet plan, some of my training techniques, and so, like, he's got the quarterback coach, the running back coach is doing it, and he's been, like, he even said, like, the Virginia Tech, like, assistant hit him up. Asked him. So, like, uh, he's been, like, really good because he's been giving me a lot of good feedback on some of the stuff, and just he's a just a really, really awesome guy, man. I really fuck with Coach uh, Storms. Absolute dude, I mean, I knew, I knew that he was a huge Tornex guy, so. Absolute dude, man. I'm yeah. back from when he was at Memphis, man. I mean, okay. just absolutely humble guy, just to the work, though, you know what I mean? Yep. But that, and that's the stuff that Florida State needs yeah, right yeah, yeah. now, and that's the stuff that he and that new coaching staff has brought to the table which is huge yeah you've no. already seen the transition well and yeah you saw like because they would ended up in what top 15 or so last year towards the end and you can see like that thing that what they're laying down there it's pretty awesome mm -hmm. so being a former guy to play there that's got to make you happy oh it's stoked absolutely yeah that's cool uh talk about so what drew you to the sornex brand so i got into strength and conditioning afterwards so like body huge body transformation okay. like during college football like Left high school like 180, soaking wet. Okay. Finished like 250, ready to go. Hell and yeah. So just that whole transition, working a ton with strength conditioning coaches and that whole process like got me really interested in in like that side of the industry versus like the more fitness side of the industry that like I grew up around with my pops. Yeah. 
Um, so, yeah, so I went down to University of South Florida under Coach Ron McKeefer. He did an internship down there. Mm-hmm. Was kind of kicked around the idea of being a strength coach. Learned a lot of the things that probably aren't so cool about the industry. And uh, I was 23, and another company was like, hey, why don't you come work for us, like in sports, mm-hmm. make some money right now. I was like, okay, bet. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. So I did that. Worked for a company called Powerplate for like six years. Ran their sports company, okay. their sports division within the oh, company. Oh, yeah, I think I remember them. Oh, yeah. But well, my Powerplate's like the mobile one that I actually got oh, from Josh while he the was The one that's at my gym. Yeah. So eight years ago when yeah. I met Josh, he was he was working for like three different companies, and then I was in a commercial for PowerPlate for the. Yeah, hustling, that's amazing. Man, hustling. Yeah. Every yeah, yeah. one of my high school kids that come in the gym all yeah. walk over. They all love that thing. Yeah. Hey, they they really do. I've messed around with a bunch, but it's like it, it's yeah. interesting for sure. Oh yeah. It, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I'll tell you what though. Like you cut your teeth on trying to sell some twelve thousand dollar vibrators. No shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's what I used right. to think. Like I'd go to these gyms, they have I'm like what the fuck. Like, and then they'd be like, yeah, this thing's like eight or ten racks. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, no doubt. But, yeah, that was a big part. Like, cool, go to a weight room. Like, y'all need 12 of these things. Cause, <laughs> like, you know, because that's scale, right? Like, yeah. You think about programming like anything, right? Cool, I got 20 racks in this room and I got one GHD. You're going to be able to program, like, yeah. blue ham stuff like that's that? That's true. No, you're not. So you got to have a certain amount of that gear in there to make sense. So, mm. like, that was kind of the pitch, right? Hell, yeah. Um, so, yeah, did that for, like, six years. Uh, kind of did some entrepreneur stuff. Ran a gym down in Tampa um, mm. for three years. And then, um, actually, I met Bert at University of Texas, 2013. I was putting in some gear for power plate. Him and another guy were installing the weight room for their Olympic sports weight room. Mm-hmm. And it was like two dudes doing a whole weight room install by myself. And I was just like, yo, boys need some help, man. Like, yeah. So, yeah, I helped him out, and that's how I met him. And then a few years later, I started working with him. And oh, then yeah. they convinced me to work up there and move up to South Carolina in 2017, 16. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started our marketing department up there in that's 2016, cool. 17. Before that, we just, like, outsourced everything. Sure. To, or we had, like, one guy that did the marketing before. Yeah. So I came in, started a team, and kind of took it from there. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah and their, yeah. their squad's nasty as far as, like, the hype reels and oh, marketing. Oh, yeah, no, they, they no. Kill I would it. say yeah. the creative shit's 100%. I want to go Bruce. more into the marketing. Like, obviously, you guys are in, like, every weight room and all this stuff like that. What's, like, some of the strategies? Like, what do you guys, like – what areas are you guys trying to focus in on and get in that lane or what are some of the challenges that you're facing? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, obviously because of like Burton Pops and their legacy and their history, I mean, you got 40 something years, you know, yeah. of, 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 of like struggle to get into that industry. So it's a little bit different than like a, um, like when I kind of took over, I was like, this ain't like a new company. This isn't a startup. Our strategy yeah. is not a startup new company, like get, get on the scene thing. Mm-hmm. It's a help everybody understand the brand, help everybody understand what the differences between us. And early on, it was a lot of product stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like heavy, like this is what our gear does, like education. Because they, they made, they've, they've come up with so much shit yeah. that nobody ever knew about. You know, they create the thing called the landmine. They call it the landmine yeah. for a certain reason, and then nobody knows that, and everybody just calls it that. But nobody knows that those two cats are the ones that came up with it wow. in 2001 because Bert needed something better to train with. The Roundtable Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. If you hear that buzzing in the background, that is the actual lawnmower. Okay, back to the script. Who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming? Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Hear that mm. buzz? Manscaped recently launched the ultimate men's hygiene bundle, the Performance Package. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped, and we have an exclusive offer for you. 20% off in free worldwide shipping with the code, and you guessed it, Small arms, not small wiener, small <laughs> arms. Right. S M A L L A R M Z, Z as in Zaddy, as in Danny, Zaddy Daddy. 20% off free worldwide shipping, small arms at manscaped.com. Hear that buzz? That could yeah. be you. That's Cole. right. And listen, I just got to tell you, this is one of the products that I wish I would have had earlier in my life because yes. you know as a young padawan, a nice youngling, the jungle you know, down there. Sometimes, you know, with the inexperience and stuff like that, you know, I would I would nick myself. It'd be a mess. It would hurt real bad. It might bug me for a few days. Yep. But you know what? This is one of the products that I wish I would have. So the lawn, uh, like uh, Danny, what's inside the package? Please. I mean, the days of being a Padawan for grooming are over. Yes. Cole, right. So it's time to take your your ball grooming and your grooming overall to the next level. So yes. how, how we do that with the uh, you know the lawnmower, <laughs> the lawnmower four point it's, it's, it's a um, it's a waterproof grooming tool. Ooh. And it's an easy cleanup. 
Really? So, you so you're telling me that instead of standing over the toilet in like a weird crouch position and potentially like <laughs> nicking my like my taint, I can use this in the shower and now like Michaela won't come in and be like, whoa, why is there a like why does it look like a jungle in here? Why is your whenever taint I out? could just use it in the shower and it goes down the drain? Is that what you're saying? Hundred percent right. Yes. Wow. I can't wait. Put your taint away. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What's Trayvon? Got, Trayvon? <laughs> Listen, okay. Once you get done harvesting the, all those crops <laughs> though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got I got a crop I got some preserver and a reviver here for you. Okay, oh, nice. so me personally, I really struggle sweating down there. It get it's like a swamp. All right. Okay. Yeah. So talk to first him, of Trey. all, in your gift pack, you're gonna get a manscape boxer brief. Oh, These nice. things are gonna keep you cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Definitely gonna enhance the package. But once you get done though, pull out the ball toner. Oh. Tone them. Tone them up. You gotta tone them crops up. <laughs> tone them crops up. No more sweating down there at all. It's gonna save your life. Man, save I like it. Swamp ass. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. save your life. Uh, That's right. Put your taint away. On, honestly, from what Trey sounds like, it sounds like after you know you get your experience with the lawnmower 4.0 and everything Manscaped has to offer, it sounds like you're going to become a, a professional farmer. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. I mean, that's what it seems yeah. like. You yeah. reap Padawan to, to groom master. That's right. I'm yeah. basically Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, gee, what's, no so what again, about. what's the code for the listeners? If you want to be Obi-Wan Kenobi, the performance packs <laughs> package... <laughs> Join over 7 million men worldwide. Trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer. 20% off free worldwide shipping with the code, and you guessed it, small arms. That's right. With a Z, Zaddy. At manscaped.com. Right. We're right. out of here. That's cool. When you were trying to make the Olympics as a thrower. So, um, oh, so is that Bert's background as throwing? Yep, yeah. I got it. Okay, yeah. cool. High, Highland Games too, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. So, I mean, for us, like the, the strategy there, man, is A, just be real, number yeah. one, because, I mean, you're not – you know, we're not a big like consumer brand, right? Yeah. I think, and, and that's not like same. We we <laughs> we love the ability to do that, but like we just, you know, we that's it's just not a focus. It, you can't be a big custom shop for the entire yeah. world, right? Like you could scale to a degree. So, um, so being authentic, man, just being who we are, and that yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, is in my opinion, the most important thing you can do in marketing these days in general, right? If you're fake, yeah. people are gonna see it. It's, it's What's too cool easy. Always say. Yeah, we always say like like authenticity is like cheat code. And I think it's uh you guys like develop like a really good community. So is that kind of focus like you're trying to, you know, build like with all these like events and stuff like that, you're really trying to capsulate like what the brand is and like get yeah. people to yeah. buy it. And, and that's Bert, man. That that's him. Like that's his vision of like what he sees of like the importance, the value of the people. Mm -hmm. End of the day, well, what are we talking about? Some steel tubes with holes in yeah. them? Cool. Like, yeah, there's about 30 other companies here that are all based on that exact same shit right now, yeah, racing yeah. each other to the bottom. So, okay, cool. Y'all do that. We're going to do this. Yeah. Racing each That's other to the shit. bottom? Yeah, with <laughs> Savage. <laughs> but, but that is something they do that is, like, exponentially better than the next, is yeah. the community that they've derived from authentic relationships, candid, like, very curious humans. They're all, like... And we were talking about earlier, they have solution specialists. They don't have, like, a, like these normal brand names of, like, spots in the industry because they're solving problems. And they've created some of the coolest weight rooms because they, For like, sure. they, they yeah. get, it's almost like you guys promised and then they, they create it afterwards almost. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, so we view it as, like, I mean, it's it's a really catchy thing to say these days. Like, oh, we do solutions. Like, everyone's just swapped <laughs> out the word, the word yeah. sales with solutions, yeah, right, yeah, just yeah. to kind of, like, facade. But, like, but we've really been about that. In yeah. that sense, and the yeah. guys we look to hire, like, that need to have a certain background, need to have a certain pedigree, need to have a certain network, need to have a certain understanding of training so that when they do get into this and they work with the guys that are putting the steel together, coming to the, yeah. the designs, working with the marketing, like it all it all mixes together yeah, in yeah. that pot, right? Yeah. So like to, to like to take it a step back, like what does like Sornex mean? Like what do you like what are you guys like doing and like what makes kind of like your guys' product and your guys' equipment different from others? Man, so that's a great question that would take a long time to answer. But in, in the general, Sorenex stands for Soren Exercise Equipment. So Richard and Bert Sorens, so this is their name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somewhere along the way, they decided to, like, shorten it down and, like, make it a name, which has made it awesome but also super confusing. People are like, Sorenex, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and uh, But it's a great opportunity to then tell the story, right? Yeah. Um, but I think, again, man, the big difference is, is, I mean, Pops told me forever, it ain't paint and steel, man. Yeah. Paint and steel is paint and steel. Everybody can do paint and steel. Yeah. So it's all the other things that you're doing, man. Or how you connect them with you and me or you and me in a situation that helps me understand what you're trying to do. And at a high level, then we bring you that 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 solution or that idea yeah. um, that often not for the first 30 years didn't exist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, so then that, that, like, that connects with people that are truly trying to push the envelope, truly trying to, like, you're a strength coach like Josh Storms, and you're trying to take this, this, this program to the next level. You can't just show up and be a big scream guy and do all that. Yeah. You can. 
it does work for some people, but if you're going to truly try to build relationships with people mm -hmm. and push what you view this uh, position to be in that industry forward, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have to do stuff that people aren't doing. And, I mean, that's us, right? We're trying to push it forward. And that's, that's kind of like our internal tagline, our, like our main tagline is be legendary, which I think is dope because it's like that's creme de la creme stuff, which I think we are. Um, but, you know, just trying to push the industry forward, man. I'll tell you what my perception is, right? And I, it's funny because till Brian and the Congo guys, I really wasn't super familiar with Sornex. Now that I've saw, like, I'm, I keep running into people that mess with you guys. There's a lot of grouchy fucking strength coaches no doubt. in the world, but they're not the ones that mess with you guys. Well, I mean. Yeah, I'm sure you have a few, but my, my, my point of saying that is that the guys that I know that are huge Sornex fans are open-minded. They are usually good practitioners on top of it, not just some lazy dude that's fucking barking. And it just seems like it's a, to your point, you're drawing a certain kind of person to your brand. And it seems like way more, I don't get along with the mother dudes very well. And they don't really like me that much. But it seems like the guys, Juan, yeah. Congo, Josh, like Brian, like the guys I'm seeing that mess with Sornex are the guys that are leading the charge, is my point. And so that's a compliment to you guys. And that's what makes me want to know more because yeah. I know the people that I like and, uh, you know, I'm interested in knowing more about. They're all Sornex, man. So that's cool. I appreciate that. Sincerely. Yeah, that's and just it, my uh, my own 30-foot view. And that's what takes an event, like we were just talking a minute ago about, like Summer Strong. Yep. Like that event we use is, is such a great opportunity to, to do those things. And then the guys that maybe that's not their speed or whatever, like, well, cool, man. Come kick it. Like, yeah. you like drink a beer? Like, we drink beer. Like, yeah. you want to go lift? Like, we lift heavy. Like, yeah. you want to go? Like, cool. Come with us and see what we're about. Yeah. And if you come in and you're not about it, that's no, all that's respect, cool too. Man. It's yeah. all cool. It's all good. And not everyone's going to be friends. Not everyone's going to be able to work together. Yeah. But we believe if we continue to do it a certain way, that those different aspects and those different kind of like intangible parts of the business will relate. Yeah. And then and then we'll continue to provide a, you know us because that's the reality, right? Like we got to do all that. We got to market it. We got to say all these things because you know it's a business, right? And we need to be able to create those opportunities um, and and play the long game. I yeah. think that's a huge thing that with the big spike of social and all of the stuff, like it's, it's somewhat relatively not easy, but you ramp up. But who's playing the long game? Who's playing yeah. a 20, 30 year game? Who's playing a 40 year game? Who's playing a 100 yeah. year game? Mm -hmm. That stuff is interesting to me. So yeah, cause those, I'm that, playing that game too. Yeah. So, like, uh, I was going to ask, like, where do you guys see, like, the brand going, like, in the next 20 to 40 years? You know, like, what's, what, do you, what, what goal are you guys trying to accomplish? Man, I would say that. The coolest thing that makes my job relatively simple is it's whatever Bert's down with, because he's the brand. That's it. You know what I mean? I don't have. We don't have to. Sit, we don't sit around in a boardroom and make this shit up. Like we don't ask ourselves questions like that. Yeah. Whatever Bert's into, we're into. That's the brand. <laughs> Fuck you. That's guys what believe it is. In it. Yeah, we like make a, we make a Sornex Outdoors brand because he's an avid hunter and an outdoorsman. He's been that his whole life. It's like we're not it's doing organic, it because bro. we see. A, on you know white space in the market yeah i mean sure probably is some white space in the market when it comes to that but the reality yeah. is, is that's why we're doing it that's why we do a winter strong now like the shirt he has on i fuck with that yeah. you know so then like but to me that comes back to the authenticity like we're not faking this shit we're not saying yeah. the word authentic and then going sitting in a boardroom and talking about how we're going to strategize to like come up with to these things like to be authentic. yeah <laughs> no doubt like i mean i think yeah. i mean well, it's like the real shit like with that. us i mean like we say yeah, like yeah. real supplements for real lifters because we're yeah, actually yeah. about that life you know what i mean for sure yeah i think, you'd, I think you'd really like the 4am crew josh yeah. i've seen it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think you would do yeah. just fine <laughs> I see it. hell yeah. yeah it's fun no that's killer that, man uh I appreciate you spending time with us and give, yeah. giving us some more insight because this is something I want I wanted to know more about. This would be great for our listeners when they're evaluating because there's a lot of gym owners and trainers 100%. and shit that follow us and so that have followed me for years with the business stuff that are like they're gonna have to evaluate who they're gonna go with when they when they do their first gym or second gym or bigger gym and they should really highly consider you guys because of those things I mentioned. It's 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 just glare it's been glaring to me most recently for sure. So. No doubt. I, I really appreciate that man for sure. Yeah. I mean I think that's as we continue to grow and we continue to do bigger and better things, I mean, at the core of who we are is mm -hmm. still a father and son oh, that yeah. we're just about that life. Fucking and so love it. like whether you're University of Georgia or you're a dude that owns a gym down the street, like if you resonate yeah. with us, cool. Let's talk about working together. And if not, no worries. But at yeah. the end of the day, we're planning on being here. Don't tweet about it. Be about it, mother. Yeah. This is some banger <laughs> shit right <laughs> now. Ah, Damn. I love Damn. it. Where can everybody find you at? Uh, at Joshua Dobby. Okay. Yeah, you man. Got it. Brian, you got anything? Yeah, I'm at Sorenex, man. Nobody does strength better. Like, yeah. there's no better humans in the industry than Sorenex. And, I, and I've been around a bunch of the other creators. Yeah. yeah. Of course. So, yeah. So And then they've done, uh, like, I mean, they've supported me in and outside of football. And mm. so just showing that. 
it wasn't a title, it wasn't anything like that. They're just good humans that are trying to help and grow other humans. Yeah. And to see the community at a winter strong and a summer strong and to see it grow over the last five years that I've been involved is one of the coolest things I've seen in business. So oh, yeah, yeah, I have such a massive amount of respect for Josh and uh, Bert and Richard. They're all absolute stud humans. All right, sounds good. Shit, we'll wrap it up. My All right, guy. My round guy. table Sorry. podcast. I'm your boy, Corey G, Small Arms Danny, which yeah. is now Brian Peters. Yeah. At yeah. Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself, Cole right. Susak. We are out. Appreciate you, yeah. Josh. Boom. Thanks, Thanks y'all, boys.